I learned at a pretty young age that <clears throat> art is whatever you want it to be, and you can approach it however you want it to approach it. Right now, I would say what I look for in my work is balance and everything. In a mood, I'm looking for balance. In color, I'm looking for balance. In brushwork, I'm looking for balance. I'm always just kind of looking for balance. And it started <clears throat> from assessing those great pieces that, you know, <clears throat> stop me cold in a, in, in a museum and I thought, I am in love. Uh, the evolution of my work is kind of interesting because it's really sporadic. It's not something I'm planning or, or th now I'm gonna add a new subject. It's just something when I, when I see something, like for example, the horses, which are new. Um, I was looking at a horse in a field and I was just kind of staring at it and the light was hitting it just right and I thought, that's a, such a beautiful animal. For a second I even thought, I wish I painted horses. And I took a picture of it thinking, oh man, I wish I painted horses. And then I was like, why don't I paint horses? I loved it from the first moment I started painting it. And it was like a, yes. And every brush stroke was more fun than the last brush stroke. And I love it. I think I'm gonna be painting him for a while. Ironically, because of horses, when I was little, um, I was really fascinated by horses. I. I thought they were really amazing animals. I, I, I was always frustrated when I went to, say, like a toy store because the guys, the kids, the boys section had G.I. Joes and army guys and cowboys and Indians and stuff like that. But the horses, the horse toys, were always in the girls section. So I'd always have to go over to the girls section to look at the horse toys that I wanted to buy because I loved them and I always made me mad when I was a kid. The celebration of fine art it's hard to pinpoint what my favorite thing about it is because it's a really interesting place, really unique. Nowhere are you gonna get a setting like this, I feel like, this intimate, this intense. It's a lot of work, we're all worn out by the end and a lot of us are away from our families and traveling and it's really intense and we go through ups and downs and there's good times and bad times, all of it. It's all part of it, it's all good. If I was to trace back the five years since my first year, I think everything good that's happened in my career started right here, and that is saying a lot. Because I get to do what I love every day, and um, it's an honor to be able to do that. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, because not a lot of people get to do that. My dad's a doctor, and he loved he loved what he did. He's retiring this year, actually. He's been the doctor for 40 years or so, and he, his only advice ever was just do what you love and be your own boss if you can. But if you're doing what you love, then that's what's important. And so to be able to tell my dad, you know, um, I'm doing it. It's really rewarding, and I can trace it back to my first year here and that was probably my favorite thing about it.